So guys, Trey Fuji, so this is a just a little update on the situation on Windows 10 October update that was released uh, actually five days ago and then was just blocked by Microsoft for some problem because some people were like having issue and some files were like disappearing from the systems. But this is a very important update because it brings finally in the Cliff House Steam VR and also the integration of flashlight. The application is gonna be able to see through the cameras of our Windows Mixed Reality headset and able to finally get in the real room scale environment. I don't wanna get too long on this video. I already did a post about this update and if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be in the card over here, I believe. But just to summarize a little everything, in the update we're gonna have the flashlight experience where you're gonna be able to see through black and white through our controller in a way, using our controller like a flashlight, see the real world against, uh, around us. The resolution is pretty low because we are using VGA cameras and black and white, that's why the latency in the tracking is very good and are pretty much the same camera that we're gonna see also on the Quest. So nothing new over there for in sound out tracking and we're gonna be able to see finally outside, grab our beers and stuff. Unfortunately, there's some Thing that you need to know this is not a stereoscopic view so you're not gonna be able to understand the sense of depth and just such a weird idea and implementation because the cameras in Windows Mixed Reality are pretty much the same distance of your IPD of your eyes so it would be very very nice to have this stereoscopic view and we and be able finally to really feel inside the real world even seen through the goggles and black and white. So uh, just a little bit of weirdness over there. And the other implementation that is very, very nice indeed is the fact that you're gonna be able to use Steam VR in Windows Mixed Reality without any problem, without having to jump to Steam VR. Actually, you have to jump in Steam VR, but the Steam VR application are gonna just pop up in your cliff house, you're gonna be able to select them like regular apps in the drawer, in a, your menu, uh, all lens menu, and you're gonna be able to pin them around the rooms and stuff, so you're gonna be able to finally create maybe a playroom where you're gonna get in and click on your game. Steam VR is gonna start automatically, and you're gonna just get in the game without going through the desktop and all the different selection that we had to do before. Super, super nice addition. Now, the situation about the update is this, where it's blocked by Microsoft, but you can still get it through a link that I can leave in the description below, but be aware that it's better to back up your computer before to install it, because some people, I, I didn't have this problem, I installed it right away, but some people had this problem of documents like disappearing from the device, now it's something that Microsoft can fix apparently, like we don't really know how actually. So that's weird, how can they take something that I deleted on my computer is not in my computer anymore? Privacy, right? Yeah, privacy. But by the way, uh, that's not the important part. They're also working on the fix for every other person, but if you really can't wait, well, the link is below, but be aware, don't do it if you don't really know what you're doing. And pretty much that was all. This was such a short video. I didn't want to go too long, but here we have it, guys. So if you have Windows Mixed Reality, you're gonna be super happy about it. It's such a great update, and that's what we were waiting for very, very long. I actually didn't wait because I installed the Insider build and then everything happened, but now it's stable, pretty much. So if you wanna install it, go for it. It's your, your. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. And I see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Also, I was almost forgetting, uh, there's also, I said also two times, another little dashboard when you press the um, Windows button on your controllers and that's super, super nice because instead of having to jump back on the cliff house, you're gonna be able to just stop a second, freeze the game over there and have all the options like the flashlights, the volume, or go to the cliff house from there. So not anymore like the accident where you go to the cliff house and you lost all what you did 
until that moment in the game. Anyway, guys, again, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for about VR. And subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. There are very, very exciting things to come. Uh, I'm just waiting for some packages right now. So you're gonna uh, learn more very, very soon. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video again. Ciao.